stopped Ellis Wayne Ellis in one. Out point Second is out. King in eight. Round two. Pyatt well, making his eighth appearance before our cameras tonight. And has obviously never been beaten. Now Chris Pyatt in general is a, is a good all-round athlete. I'm, I'm going right back to our England days. They actually went on this course, an ABC course. And he got what he called a five-star award, which I didn't know any other box that ever earned it. But part did, that was for long jump, weight training and everything else. They are a real good all-round athlete. And I can testify to the fact that he's a, he's a pretty good golfer as well. I had the pleasure of playing a couple of times with him. Good company, good golfer. I'll second that. These were the, the first two rounds is what I was concerned about. I was wondering how Chris's focus would be. You know, not to underestimate manners. The guy can punch. Dangerous, big, solid middleweight, 11 to 8 to that away. But Chris has uh, showed him the professional respect that all punches deserve. Oh, that's good from Pyatt. That is good. Manners really trying to get to grips with Pyatt and trying to draw him in, but Chris ain't having none of it. Manners is set like a puncher. Right in front of you, big shoulders. It's very difficult to set up when he's moving and boxing. But very fast hands. really is one for the connoisseur could develop into a very good fight indeed I think what you'll see Dave as it, as it unfolds you know, it's, it's not natural for Chris to, to, Chris is locking himself up at the moment and stopping himself from really going to basically have a tear up because that is his natural instincts but when he's disciplined himself like he is now he's a classic boxer but somewhere along the line Chris will, will go for broke I just wish he'd, he'd try to box something like this against John David Jackson because he went out and tried to knock Jackson's head off. Absolutely. And got uh, got a boxing lesson, which I think he'd be the first to admit. It would be very different now. You can see the, you know, all the quality sparring they had with Chris Eubank over the weeks. I'm sure if Chris is at home watching it, he'll be taking a little bit of credit for this sharp, crisp staff and crisp fire. Manners, you can see, come into the ring very confident. And I wonder how much of that confidence is draining away. That jab keeps flooding home and long left up the cut. First two rounds come to this Chris Pyatt. Very much so. We're back with Colin Manners now, who's almost got the look of a bloke who's thinking, hang on, he wasn't supposed to fight like this. It was supposed to be a war. I'm glad you said that, Dave. That is exactly what he must be thinking. The old Chris Pyatt might have done, but not, not the new star Chris Pyatt, the sort of, the old star Chris Pyatt seemed to go with the dreadlocks. And come into the ring to the wild thing. Yeah, yes. Got Dean Powell working with him. Jimmy Tibbs not in the corner tonight, nothing sinister in that. Just uh, Dean Powell working the corner on his own. You see Chris leading with the uppercut, coming back to the left foot, which is one of his favourite combinations. He does that on a regular basis. This guy's come on and then comes back with a two-punch combination. Corners, 10 seconds.